Hello, good day. It's me, Nelka, again. I want to show something before I start answering the questions again from our subscribers. I would like to introduce something that I discovered in Dialogs Evo recently, and this is amazing. It will add to your design, it will enhance your design definitely. So let's go and discover what is this okay let's let me show you the the rendered or the ray trace that i created hmm. okay here you go have you noticed something in the glass in this side have you noticed this one or maybe this one i hope you s i hope you you can notice this one how about in this side yeah okay I will tell you now what is it that I discovered how about this one have you noticed the thing in the glass yeah right amazing right um, this one nothing much but um, this one yeah have you noticed this one yeah during our um, design competition again last I don't know that the date but uh, this is again my entry and guess what <laughs> <laughs> of course I did not win again I did not win again yeah so okay let's go back the one I'm telling you is about the decorative glass panel like this one if you can see this is the one I'm trying to, uh, to achieve in that glass so I just have a different design if you can um, notice it here but yeah see that one but it's the same effect that I want to achieve this one is vertical mine is a little um, crisscross with the curved crisscross so how I did this one is really amazing it's just a simple tips and tricks okay let me show you how I did it for example let's go for one office here let's do this one as a sample and then I have the glass here and I want to put a texture on this glass and say I want something that vertical line so let's go to the Google and check for vertical lines alright I have here now it's very easy let's put some twist like curve vertical curve lines let's go and try this one it looks good okay let's open that folder and get that curve line and open it with even a picture manager is enough then edit the picture and crop and crop this title below say okay and then just say save and okay and now you can use that one now for your texture so now since your picture is now ready go to the materials create texture material upload the picture and they say open and then you can apply it immediately here yes it will be invalid it's okay and I can oh fuck okay because my system crashed now I will proceed with this new simple uh, project let's put the texture now here okay go back to materials and then create texture materials pick that um, curve line and then say open and then make this one as transparent and then make the reflect uh, refractive and index as 1.5 or 1.2 and then the degree of transmission may be uh, 40 and the um, reflection factor make it 50 well if you want to learn more about this one the reflection factor the degree of transmission and everything um, I think we can um, create a new video for this one or <laughs> let's do it now okay have you noticed if I say 50 it becomes totally white 
and then if I say 20 you can see the decor the design of the glass okay I think this is a basic reflection and the degree of transmission reflection like in the mirror like like for example um, how how you see yourself on the mirror that is the reflection factor if you render the uh, the, the the project or, or the image you will see how the reflection factor would be but if it's a regular rendering uh, you cannot see it immediately and then the degree of transmission in my opinion I think is of course the degree that the light pass through the glass so it will depend on you if you want to make it full clear then you will have for example this one 90 percent or 100 percent so the light or anything your eyes will totally see on the other side is totally clear like the degree of transmission is oh, totally clear and then if you want to make it a little diffuse then you need to reduce the percentage of that while the refractive index on um, on the other hand is similar like um, distortion like for example if you want to make it zero then the refractive index is like it's like what what you see in the clear glass or what what you see in the uh, glass a regular um, it's not a regular uh, in any glass but if you want to make it 1.2 or 1.5 you can see the a little distortion of the reflection or uh, on the other side have you noticed a straw on the glass sometimes it's okay okay let's google it refractive index maybe they have nice pictures on this index yeah I, I yeah there is so you can see that the refractive is similar to like a, a distortion there you go I have this one now this is the refractive index you can see that this one doesn't have much refractive index like it's it's totally 1% while this one has and maybe it is 1.5 or 1 point something so you can see the difference now what is the refractive index alright so let's go now and apply this by the way, if you are using glass door or glass window or any glass panel in your project and if you really want to get the um, total refractive index or degree of transmission, uh, you can ask this one to the supplier of the glass panel. Yeah, they can tell you that if especially if you're aiming for a lead certification and you don't want to you don't want the sunlight to reach or to pass through the hundred percent of the sunlight pass through to your glass then you can ask the supplier or the manufacturer of the glass it's important especially in the calculation it also affects your daylight calculation and for the other things your uh, lighting calculation if the the other room is connected or just with a partition of a glass okay so let's apply it now and there you go now you can see it's a little um, ugly so you can edit this one make it maybe four by four let's see yeah I think this is fine or you can edit it by maybe stretching it like this and like this so you can edit it by manually or by by numbering here at the bottom alright so now you have your a regular glass here and a glass a glass with a decorative etch or a decorative glass okay ah oh yeah let's apply it here on the one oh shit on one panel let's apply okay so you can see the difference now you have now the decorative glass panel and let's see how it will look like let's see if the reflection factor and the degree of transmission and the refractive index that I used is perfect let's run it and while we are waiting we can go and there you go it's done it's really amazing look at that you can see now the difference between the clear glass and the, the glass with a decoration or an edge let's go inside how it looks like here so you can see from inside that uh, the glass has this kind of texture or design can you imagine that? It's so amazing. Here you cannot just uh, cannot you cannot appreciate much. But let's go and ray trace it and let's see how it will look like. Go to the export and 
ray trace it let's go for maybe 1 124 by 76 and let's start ray tracing okay there you go nice look at this so yeah so you can have your edge glass I'm not sure if you can also uh, apply for a colored edge but based on the Google <laughs> you can only um, you can only have yeah black or black and then that oh, I'm sorry the white and then the transparent part which is the glass part the edge is the white one so there's some here like this the edge is the black some like this and this one and this one in the shower like this one this, this is nice in the shower it's really cool okay so yeah that's it and I hope I hope you enjoyed the new tutorial okay bye